How's it going guys? Fernie coming at you again with a quick tutorial video on how to play your PlayStation 4 on your Microsoft Surface 3. Again, this is only a 2 gigabyte of RAM that it offers, but um, I just wanted to post this to see how it works. This is actually my first time trying it. I'm going to try it on the, on the high resolution options. Um, but here's how you guys, something that you guys are definitely going to want and need to run this couple of things here. Of course, you want the uh, you're gonna need the PS4 remote. I got that right here. You're gonna need your USB cable. You are also gonna need to make sure that your PS4 is hardwired to the modem, okay? And of course, you're gonna need the Wi-Fi connection. And you're gonna need the Remote Play app. Let me zoom in there, get you closer. Remote Play. Now I'll go ahead and um, also show you guys how to download that really quick. Um, first of all, what you want to do, just open up any Internet Explorer, and just even on the search bar, you guys could just type in uh, PlayStation 4 Remote Play. Hit Enter, and as you guys can see, that one's purple out because that's the one you want to click. It says PS4 Remote Play. For PC or Mac. Click the website and you guys can see right there it already has it listed. I don't know if you guys can read that. Windows PC. Okay. So you definitely want to just download that. Hit run. It'll get everything going for you. Alright. So I already got it installed. So we'll go ahead and continue on. Now I have my TV mute it so you guys can also get the sound of the of the actual surface 3 all right so let's get this going now the settings this is something you wanted at the beginning um, you can click settings here and you can adjust them uh, you could adjust it to 720 let me get you guys moved in here let me get you there auto focused you could do 720 that's the highest and then the frame rate high uh, if you notice it you can go down to f uh, standard 540 and also to low 360 and for frame rate you can go uh, down to standard I'm gonna try on high because I want to see how this works again this is my first time trying it also just to give you guys a glimpse now as far as my internet speed I am running 15 megabits per second which is not the greatest but this should work with that alright so here we go guys I'm gonna set it high everything's good click OK and then I already have it synced to my my PlayStation so you're gonna hit start it'll start searching for it and it just gives you a, a message when it says when the connection of the PS4 is about to be lost this icon will be displayed as you guys can see it already connected to it that's the sound off of the off of the actual surface 3 I put it down because it's kind of loud so you guys can see it's mimicking everything that's on my actual TV you guys can see the TV in the background I'll flip the screen up a little bit just so you guys can see that scrolling through as you guys can see there's really not much of a lag um, as far as from the TV to the actual Surface 3 I do have Black Ops 3 I'll go ahead and try that those are only two games that I have guys uh, Black Ops 3 and Fallout 4 I haven't even played those in such a long time. I haven't played these. I really don't use it for that. I use it more for for Netflix for my daughters. But uh, I just wanted to try this out. This is definitely a great option for people who like to game. And it says currently gameplay recording is uh, disabled. When you're using this option, you can no longer record. Um, all right, so getting the game started. Again, it's, if anything, a millisecond. Okay. 
connecting to online services. I'm gonna go ahead and try an online game. I think that'll definitely test the test the lagging or anything like that. If you guys are on PlayStation 4, I am um my color tag is U N What Army, which of course it's U and What Army. I always do hardcore, never do anything less. Haven't done this in a while, guys, so I might be a little bit uh, rusty. Hopefully, we get a game going soon. Uh, this one's taking about 33 seconds to start. But as you can, as you guys can see, it's mimicking everything that's on the TV. Um, I guess this would be a good option, like if you the TV's being used up, but your PlayStation 4 is open. This is an option where you can, you know, be in your room gaming. Um, or maybe you're just getting ready to go to bed and want to get a couple of games in and you want to be in bed while you're doing that. That's also another option. Alright, hopefully this match starts soon, guys. Still haven't felt any lag. I actually downloaded this app onto my Note 5 phone. And even on the lowest settings, there was lag every 10-15 seconds. And I wasn't even playing online, I was just playing a regular campaign. So, and keep in mind the Note 5 does have a, hard, um, a bigger gigabyte RAM, or RAM drive, which I don't know if that matters. I, uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't know too much about this technical stuff. But I'm always looking for these type of options where, uh, you know, being able to play your PlayStation 4 or any game system off your mobile devices. Alright, so we're about to get started here. Again, don't judge me on my gaming, guys. I haven't done this in, man, over two months. Probably even longer. So it might not be, I might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, as they say. I'm definitely looking at my, at my regular, uh, I see there's a lot of lag already. Yeah, there's pixelation, not lag, it's pixelation. But, um. Maybe we can lower the settings and that'll help. So, obviously, this is not. I, I don't know if it might be my connection. I know I don't have the fastest connection. But it's. Oh, I said that already. But. I figured. Each one needs about six megabits of speed. Yeah, this is not playable, guys. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and stop the video and drop the settings, see if that works. All right, guys, I'm back. I made a change in the settings. All I did was lower the frame rate um, to standard. It was on high, I lowered it to standard, see how that works. And we're about to get this match started. Yeah, it was, it was not possible to play with uh, 720p and high rate of, of frames. Let's see how this does. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but when you're doing a quick turn, it looks like the, the screen kind of jolts. Ah, same guy killed me. It's not too bad. You used to have high quality as far as the screen goes, but the frame rates, yeah, you could tell it's kind of suffering. Yeah, I didn't even... I wasn't even aiming at that guy as I saw on the screen, so... Okay, so obviously this option doesn't work too well either for online play. We'll go ahead and I'm going to pause the video again and we'll see if we'll switch it up to a lower, uh, to 540. Alright, All right, guys, so now I'm back and what I did is I changed 
the picture quality to 540 and I hired the rain back up the frame rate back up to high um, high quality so let's see how that looks you can already tell as far as screen resolution it's not that good compared to the 720 but let's see how the the gaming is again I'm on an online game about to start here yeah you could tell a huge difference on the screen quality Okay, so far it looks too. It looks pretty good. It's not. It's not lagging or it's not uh, pixelating. But again, the screen quality is really not good at all. It's kind of hard to see the, um, the players. Let me see if I can higher up the brightness of the screen. If that helps, it does help a little bit. Okay, now we're working here. Doesn't look too bad. Frame rates are high. Again, we're at 540. I'm running 15 megabytes, uh, I'm sorry, megabits of, of speed on my internet. I got took my kill. Sorry guys, I, I know I'm not that good right now. Honestly, I got used to the the remote settings for the um, for the Fallout 4. You know those are different. Well, guys, I'll go. I guess I'll go ahead and leave it off there. Um, 540 again, 540 uh, screen resolution with high rate of frames. It's actually not bad. There's really no lag. There's no lag from what the screen is showing and um, well what my TV is showing and what the Surface Pro 3 I'm, not, I'm sorry it's not a pro this is Surface 3 is showing so not bad at all alright guys uh, just wanted to leave this video so you guys can see maybe what option is best for you and of course a tutorial on how to download all the information uh, hit me up with any comments if you guys have anything or anything any suggestions um, if you like it dislike it go ahead and hit the icons and um, Thank you all for watching.